group now, please. It can never be too much. Please, I won't take your time. My father and my lord, I just want to thank you. And I want to commit my husband into your hands uh, as he goes for job hunting. Father, please go with me. Amen. I pray and ask, O oh Lord, for your favor. Please favor him today. Amen. I pray that today marks the beginning of great things in our lives. Please change our story for good in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I, I hope all your possessions are in there. Yes, everything is complete. It's fine. Okay. I Thank you. Know, I to keep it. Yeah. Take care of So how did it go? They asked us to submit our, our credentials and um, you know, write one or two things down. They did the interview and then they asked us to go that uh, they will communicate with us that if we are selected or so. Oh hey God, not again. I hope this won't be like the other ones you've been going for. When they'll say they will call you, but they end up not calling. I don't know, but I'm hopeful. So I just cover this one into the hands of God. Anything that happens, it's fine. Let's just keep our faith. Let me get you something to drink, okay? And get your food too. I'm thinking of something. Huh? Okay. We can't continue like this. I mean, we can't just fold our hands and wait for manna to fall from heaven or for Jesus Christ to just come and bless us. No, we need to help ourselves. I don't know when these people will get back to me. Hmm? The bills are piling up. Very soon now, the landlord will come and begin to ask for his rent. What do we do? Plus all the bills that we have. So I'm thinking of doing something different. Well, when you're right, I've also thought about it. But the question is, what kind of business can we start without any money? No capital. Because as it stands now, we don't even have any money at all to start up any kind of business. You're right. I mean, I, I agree with you. 
but you see, I am ready to do anything. I don't, I don't care. I mean, yes, the job might be demeaning. People might laugh at me. People might say, upon all my academic qualification, I, I, I don't mind. But I need to pay my bills. As long as the job is legit, I will go for it. I am thinking of, you know, doing something like helping people and getting paid. I don't know. I'm just. I don't understand that. I don't understand. Helping people and getting paid. Like, like. <laughs> I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Eh? We want to go and help people and get paid. Where? So just give thanks to God. Hmm? You don't need to thank anybody. Hmm? All praises goes to Him. Hmm? Yes. Hey, all this for me? Yes, my dear. Uh, for me and my kids. Yes, my Thank you so kids. much. Oh, oh, thank you. No, no, get up, get up. 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 Get a lot of times I just wonder what I could have done without you people. It's okay. okay? Thank you so like much. Like I said, all things belongs to God. Yes, sir. All glory goes to Him. Hey, I... God bless you. Yeah. God bless you. You can use this and buy granite oil, spices, just to prepare. Thank you so thing. much, Ma. Please, I know it's too small, but manage us. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. The God of the widow. We take care of you the way you are taking care of me. Amen. Okay. Hey. Okay. Hey. Just the only thing I will tell you is don't forget to say your prayers. Yes, Pastor. Hmm? How can I forget that? When you always teach us to pray, even yeah. the Bible may declare that we should always pray without ceasing. Exactly. exactly. So we always exactly. pray. <laughs> Thank you. You're Thank you, welcome. Okay. It's, okay. it's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank God you. bless you. It's all right. Hi. I am happy that you're happy. Ah, good. You. Just managers, so just happy. managers, just managers. I'm managers so happy. Press, okay? Hey, all this for me. Exactly. God bless you, man. Amen. God bless you, Pastor. It's all right. Brethren. Yeah. I thank you people so much for answering to this call. Uh, thank you very, very much. Um, I, I know that you people are aware of our church project. Yes, I thank you so much for all your donations so far. But um, I, I just want to tell you people that uh, we need more. Eh? Uh, uh, that is actually why I, I called you people to know... Uh, if there's any 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 of you that can uh, we just we just need to finish that work it is our own we have to do it yeah please uh, uh, can any of you donate uh, 10,000 naira huh? Ten, just 10 just 10,000 naira I know I know he's very he's very big but he's still very small to what you're giving to God huh? Okay, 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 okay. Can 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 anybody donate five thousand? I just want people to just, mm -hmm. yeah? just five thousand, five thousand. Okay, okay, okay. Can I can I two two thousand? I I just want to um, ask you for something. As you can see, our church is uh, growing. Uh, right now, we need a generator. I don't know if it's uh, possible for you to um, buy a generator for us or give us a generator. You know, but the way it is now, without anything like a generator, we can't stay in here. It's always hot and in the night like this, it's very, very dark. Uh, so we are asking for that favor. So please, uh, I don't know if you can do it for us. Yeah, um, Pastor, uh, you know, if you're asking for this from me, it will look as if I am not part of this church. This church is my church. Yes. And uh, I know this problem. 
we're talking about. If not because of the condition of the country that affected my business, this is not, uh, it's nothing to compare to what I do for the church. What I'm going to tell you now is that uh, I will do it as soon as the economy improves. Take that from me. It's yeah. all right. Yeah. It's all right. Um, that's it. There's no, there's no problem. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. And um, we in the church will keep uh, praying that the economy will improve and your business will definitely pick up. Thank you huh? very much. Thank you very much, Pastor. You know, your prayer has been doing wonderfully well in this community. Thank you, sir. Uh, you know, we, we are benefiting from it. God is really, really answering these prayers. And like I said, I will surely help as soon as the economy improves. It's all right. Mm? It's all it's right. okay, my brother. Thank yeah? you very much. My regards to your family. And yours too. Good, madam, for me. All right, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye -bye. Okay. Bye. He said no. Yes. He said business is very slow and that he can't give a small generator to a church that has been praying for him all these years. Why don't we just try something else? Because this pastor thing is not really working for us. I cannot abandon my calling for the world. You cannot abandon your calling for the world. Yet we are hungry. We can't even afford good food. We can't even afford good clothes. Honey, can you hear yourself? It seems you were enjoying this condition, right? Just look at it. I went to the women's meeting. I was the only woman wearing dirty clothes. Every other woman was wearing new wrappers. I was just so ashamed of myself. A whole pastor's wife. Why don't we just get a job or something and just be a normal church goer? Like every other person. I cannot abandon the church for, for just material things. Oh. People listen. Mm. I am a pastor. Temptations will come. Please. It's just a matter of time. All the sins will go away. Please. You are a pastor. Yes. A man of God who doesn't listen to his wife. A man of God who doesn't want to hear me talk. He's always right. We're in this together, right? Hmm? It's fine. Things will be quiet at least. It's fine. Yes. Yes, who is this? Who? <laughs> Pastor Jew. Wait, 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 wait. Is this you for real? <laughs> wow! Ah, my brother, that's the way I am seeing it. You know, I was uh, posted to the village just to do God's work. Uh, God wants me to take care of his flock. Yes. <laughs> So, how are you doing? How about your church? What? Wait, 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 wait. Are you... My God! Ha! This is massive. <laughs> ah! It's okay. Uh, no problem. I I will send it. I am so so happy hearing from you again. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, okay, okay. Um, what will happen is this. Once I drop this call, I will send it immediately. Yes. <laughs> all right, all right. Thank you very much. Uh, take care of yourself, huh? All right. All right, bye. Huh. Wow. <laughs> Pastor Joe. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. You can say I'm busy. Wait a minute. How dare you even imagine to invite such a person in this place? To come and laugh at us or what? I think, I think you are overreacting. Huh? Listen, he's coming here to just visit us. Know how we are faring and, and, and not to laugh at us. That's all. Oh, really? I'm overreacting. Right? Do you know what your problem is? Your problem is that you don't care about what people are saying about you. But I care. I care the fact that we are living in this miserable old house in this local village. I care about that we don't have enough food to eat. I care about that we wear rags. Just look at what you're wearing. How you smell sweat. Baby, baby, we have everything. Yes, we have everything. When you have God, you have everything. Oh, I see. Good pastor. Wow. You have everything. Nice. You know what? I don't want to argue with you this evening. I don't want to try that. All I want to say, suit yourself. As you can see, I am very, very busy. You know what? When he comes, we are going to prepare Ngongo for him with red oil. Is that okay by you? Is that okay? And then when we want to prepare good food for him, we'll beg him for money. We're asking for money as beggars. Please excuse me. I need to get your food ready. Excuse me. Hello? Yes. Ah! <laughs> Pastor Joe. No, I'm fine. I'm good. You want to start? You want to start coming? That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Um, you see what you do, eh? Just follow that address that I sent to you. Yes. You will see yourself in front of my house. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's all right. Okay. All right. Safe trip, eh? Yeah, I'm waiting. <laughs> eh, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <sighs> yeah. Sister Mary, it's really been long. Yes. Ah. You really look good though. I can see the goodness of the Lord in your life. Yourself, you're not looking so bad. Oh, please don't start. The supper is too much. It's been good anyway. It's been good. <laughs> you were, where is he? Oh, my husband. Um, oh. He went to the mechanic. He went to fix his car. He will soon be back. Oh, really? Um, 
Do, do you mind me getting you a seat outside or, or do you want to come inside? Oh, no, don't worry. I prefer staying outside. Are you sure? Yes. Ha! Ah, you're really welcome, eh? Thank you. Too cold. I'll be you. back. <laughs> Just manage with us. We don't have wine in this village. Mm, don't worry, I understand. This is just fine. Mm? <gasps> you are so humble. Don't mention. Welcome, oh. Mm. So, <laughs> as I was telling you. Okay. What am I seeing? Oh. <laughs> wow! Joe, <Joel>, my man! <laughs> Pastor John. Wow! Nice to see you. Nice to see you too, my brother. <laughs> oh my God. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me get you a seat. No, don't worry, don't worry. Just sit down, yeah. sit down, sit down. Sit down, sit down. Okay. Sit down, sit down. Hi. Pastor John. <laughs> wow. I hope you didn't find it difficult locating this place. No, no, it was easy. From the address you sent. Just that the roads are terrible. You see, that is one thing of living in the city. They always have good roads. Yeah, that's true. That's, uh, that comes to my question. What is a brilliant pastor like you doing in this village? I can remember you being the best in pastoral school and also being the best graduating student in your sets. How did you find yourself in this place without electricity, good roads, or even clean water? What happened, my brother? Pastor Joe, it's not that bad. Um, the posting came out, I saw my name posted to this village. Yes. I believe it's a... Uh, the Lord's doing. Yes, act of God. Yes. My brother, this thing does not have anything to do with God. Those big shots intentionally posted you in this village, so you will not be a rival to them. And that is the honest truth. Do you know I was posted in the village? Really? What happened? I called the right people and they made the right calls. The rest was history. Now, currently, I'm a pastor with 100,000 capacity members in a mega church and still growing. Uh, pastor Joe, I don't have the right people or the right calls to make. I believe this is the work of God. The most important thing is to do it and do it well. Now back to what you said about having a mega congregation. Yes, my congregation are very big, they are large. But the problem is that nobody accepts that they have a penny. Yes. That's the problem I have. They don't accept they have a penny. Yes. My brother, they do. You can't tell me they don't send their kids to school, build houses, or even have relatives abroad. Oh. Now tell me, don't they marry and get pregnant? And the good news is this, they are young men, even look for visas. My brother, they have. Pastor Joe, you don't understand what I am saying. Okay, okay, let me, let me break it down for you to 
understand me. These people we are talking about, they are not ready to give. All they want is to receive. Yes. Okay, now, after the, the Sunday services, they will stand in front of my office. They will form a very long queue. What are they waiting for? That same money they give in offering, that is what I will give, give back to them. That's how you get here, So I'm even begging for transport fare. Okay. Relax yourself. Don't worry yourself. I'm here to help. Allow me. Excuse me. I'll see you later. Please enjoy your stay. Okay. okay. It's okay. Now come. It's okay. It's okay, my dear. Now come. Let me tell you. Don't worry yourself. I will personally officiate tomorrow's service. You will now see wonders. Eh? Yeah, Fuife. Chineke, Mary. You will see wonders tomorrow. Don't worry yourself. They are saying they don't have pain. <laughs> tomorrow's service will be wonderful. wondering about everything he said. The church. About us. But I want you to know that everything is going to be fine. Yes. are not really going on well for us. I will do everything possible to make it right. Shh. Come on. I know. And that's why I married you. Honey, I believe in you so much. You know it. Listen, honey, I want you to go back to sleep, okay? Tomorrow is Sunday.
people don't like the bad thing. I know. Now let me ask you one question. What are you willing to do for this blessing you seek? Can you give a very little? Because I believe you people don't know the power that comes from giving. Because giving is the greatest gift, grace a man can have. You see things moving. Because the Bible says, brethren, give, it shall be given unto you. Any, any. Let me hear you say hallelujah. Brother, look around me. This is where we worship. And I know a big man. Yeah, we have dignity. And come to this point. Every service. We need to rebuild this place. Our God, our God, a poor God. We're not serving a poor God. We have a rich God. So before I move further, let us all stand. Brother, let us pray. I want to hear you. Let's pray for the blessing God has given us already. Let's pray for his goodness and mercies. Let's pray for the prosperity. Because without prosperity, we are not doing anything here. Now let's pray for healing. For my blessing. I bless you, Jesus. I know you are going to heal. I know you are going to give them money. Give them blessings. Give them prosperity. Give them good health. Give them everything that comes from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm a man of God that believes so much in short prayer and long favor. I don't know who called me. Ah, I'm going immediately. There's a woman here with an issue of blood. Over the years, you've gone to so many places at the same time. But I decree and declare today you are healed in Jesus' name. I see a businessman also. They've been owing you several, several, almost two years now. But don't worry. The God of Almighty Joy is here today. Before 12 noon tomorrow, all of them are going to call you and pay off in Jesus' name. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of Elijah, send down fire. God of But let me tell you something, it's not your fault. The enemies are always at work. But let me tell you, before this year runs out, they are to win. Even for you, woman, you will receive all the blessings that come with pregnancy in Jesus' name. No, 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 this one is very critical. I see a blind girl. Yes, Pastor! Oh, I see a blind girl. Yes, you are blind. You are blind. You are blind. I know. 
but you are not born blind. She was made blind by the enemies. Bring her close. It's not your fault. The enemy made it blind. But they are unfortunate today. Receive your sight in Jesus' name! Amen. Receive your sight in Jesus' name! Receive in Jesus' name! What the man? What the Two hundred thousand naira seed. 
and I don't want to waste time before I count to three. Otherwise, you're blessed. Oh, she's here already. Somebody pray for her. As soon as she steps forward, ready, poverty has left the family. Praise the Lord! Now, I need one more member for 100,000 Naira seed. See, this 100,000 Naira seed is not just going to be an ordinary seed. You are sowing a seed that will take away untimely death, poverty, sickness, huh. everything back from your family. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You people are here and welcome to the altar of God. See, let me tell you something from today, henceforth, you guys are victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. For oh, these things, you are doing it for yourself. God loves a cheerful giver. Can someone say hallelujah? Ah. I need, a, I need a, a form so that they'll give them form, the fuel, the sign, and tell the dates they will come up with their seed. But before that, let us all rise and sing the prayer. I am so happy for you. How are you? Oh. All right, take care. Bye. This is what our God can do. This is the work of God that do. And the miracle comes. Honey. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. You surprised me here today. Yeah? I am I am still in a shock. We realized three million naira cash. Five million as pledge. Yeah? Do you know that I have never realized one million naira in a whole year? That little that I will realize though, the widows will come. People with problem will come. They will still take that money from me. Can you imagine? I am telling you. That is what I am going through here. Don't worry. Pastor John, Pastor John. You need help. I think you need help. I will introduce you to a spiritual advisor. What you need is just a little miracle. You will do more than I did here today. Keep on in me. Eh? Wait a minute. Do you think that this your spiritual advisor can help me? See, it's okay, I got there now. If you want us to go there now, we can go as we talk now. Like this. Hey, let's go now. See, see, I really, I really need help. I mean, these people, they want to really go me. The little money that I will make here, they will say, take it from me. I have never made the kind of money that, that, that we made here today. Even to feed my family, I find it very, very difficult. Don't worry. Like I said before, you will do more than I did here today. Pastor Joe, thank you very, very much. You just saved me today. You know you helped me a lot in theological school. If not, you might issue what you are Eh, if not, you will not have even graduated. Listen to me. I, I did all those things because you, you threatened to, to kill me in my sleep. <laughs> That's why I had to do those assignments. If not, I wouldn't have done that. Pastor John, Pastor John, but you know you were stubborn then. If not that little bully, you would not have even done the assignments for me. <laughs> eh? You know you're my friend. But now, I have your back. Thank you very, very much. I have your back. I believe you. You're a brother. Okay. 
I'll call you on Friday night. Okay. So we'll go on Saturday morning. Mm, that's perfect. Yes, that's perfect. And it will even give me time to get my car fixed. <laughs> get a motor fixed, your guy. Yeah, this is your car. Please, you should change that car, honestly. I know I will. I will. It's long overdue. I, I know. Huh? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Won't you stay a bit longer? Madam, I would have loved to, but I have jobs to do. Hmm? Oh, I know. You're always a busy man. Hmm. <laughs> My dear. And please, take good care of him for me, yeah? Ah, or he should take good care of me. I, I need petting too. <laughs> okay, you both should take good care of yourselves. It's all right. Yes? <laughs> Before I forget, don't you think you guys should plan visiting? I and my wife would love to host you. Wow, uh, this is yeah, nice. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's a it's a wonderful idea. But um, um, let, let's let's walk towards it. Yes, <laughs> there's nothing to walk towards. I eh? trust you. We're going to come. Uh -huh. <laughs> I trust if you. you don't come, I will come. I know, I know, right? You will come. So it's I, all right. I think so uh, take the bag to the car while I go and open the gate for him. Okay, thank you okay. so much. All right, thank you. It's all right. Hey, Nice one. I said, Mother of God, I have to look good. Hey, I oh, so. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, Mother. Hey, Marika, see your wife, eh? I will, I will. Tell her that I will come. She will hear. It's a must. Yes, I know. I believe you. <laughs> hey, whoa. Hey. Honey, keep very well. That's I will, I will. Eh, hey. Good for, for for good. Hey, I know, I know you are joking. Mm -hmm. yeah? I know, I know you are just joking. <laughs> I know you love me the way I am. I know you've always, you've always loved me. You just smell good for once. I am. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Hmm? Um, you can take this. You. I hope uh, it will solve that uh, pressing problem you have now. Hey, Pastor, this will solve all the problems, everything. Thank okay. you so much. It's okay. God will continue to bless you. Amen. See, for all this help that you are rendering to me, God will bless you. It's only God that can pay you back. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Pastor. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm? But um, don't forget. Hmm? Take enough water. Don't stress yourself. Hmm? Have enough rest. And make sure you do everything they tell you to do at the hospital. Ha, Pastor. I'm very diligent at that. <laughs> I, I do everything that they tell me to do it's in the right. hospital. It's all right. Always. And they don't forget. Always pray. Prayer is never too much. Hmm? Pastor, that is almost like a national anthem. You always <laughs> tell us to do that. I will continue to pray. It's alright. I'm always praying. It's alright. Thank you, sir. Alright. Thank you, Pastor. Take care of yourself, yes, huh? Sir. Yes, Pastor. Alright. Thank you. Hey! The because of it. Wait, eh? wait. Wait. Why will you be giving them money? Why are you still giving them money? Why? Why are you giving them money? Baby, listen. I'm just giving them money to solve their little problems. Okay, listen. 
that lady, she's not working. She's pregnant and she doesn't have a husband. Oh, really? So let us just manage the little that we have, please. The little that we have? And you pack the same little that we have? You give to people just like that? Baby, I'm not packing the money. I'm not packing it. I, I, I just gave that lady uh, 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 20,000 naira. I gave the other one uh, 10,000. And, and that's it. Hey! Can you hear yourself, honey? Can you hear yourself? You gave someone 20,000 naira. What kind of business is she doing with you that you give her such a lot of money? Why? Baby, just lower your voice, please. Yeah. I should lower my voice. Yes. I should lower my voice. You, you, you. Can I ask you a question? Are you running any charity organization? No. Then why are you doing it? Baby, listen. You are, you are overreacting. Oh, really? Yes. Just know that God will always provide for us. Hallelujah! And remember this word they said that um, givers never lack. Wow! Yes. We will never lack. So you are the only good pastor in this world? Hmm? Do you know when I will have a problem with you? When I will ask you for money and you don't give me that money? Hmm? Don't talk to me. I don't like what you're doing. I don't like what you're doing. Listen. Before you know that, you start raising my voice. Fold my hands and do nothing. You are my responsibility. I need to take care of you. Yes, I know. But why that particular job? Why? Do you think I'm happy? I'm asking you, do you think I'm happy? After all the years I have spent in the university. That's not a job that is meant for me. Even a normal secondary school boy cannot even do that kind of job. But I don't have a choice. This wasn't the plan. I know, honey. Okay, please calm down. <laughs> See, I understand your predicament. But I just want you to understand that we're in this together. Okay? I'm never going to leave you, Ken. Please. Okay, fine. It's true, it's your responsibility as a man to take care of us. But I have my own role to play, you know. And I'm certain that God will not abandon us. He will surely bless us. Okay, please just calm down. You know I love you, right? Please calm down, okay? Everything will be okay. It's okay. <laughs> I am a big No, anything you don't want to Please, uh, you people should not stay long. Please. Eh? Ah, welcome. They come away off. You didn't tell her that we are staying for one week. One week, eh? <laughs> I thought don't you just for today. Don't mind him. I'm coming back today. Hmm? Okay. Coming back today. You want my heart to beat, eh? <laughs> Honestly, love beds. Uh, let's go. We are running late. Go, okay? And come back on time for me. Oh, yeah. I miss you. I started missing you already. Go, come See back now. Soon. I'm waiting for you. I will, my dear. 
Please take care of my husband, though, and drive safely. I've heard. I've heard. And you take good care of yourself, too, eh? Yeah? Are you? Alright. Alright, baby. Okay. Pastor, bye-bye. Okay. Alright, take care. Okay. <laughs> I've been asking you where we are going to, where we are going to. We've gone out sketch of our own place. Huh? Is this your problem? Wait, who? Is this the place? Yes, now this is the place. Your spiritual advisor stays here. What are you expecting? A mansion? Okay, I'm kind of given hey, not that I'm expecting a mansion, but at least a decent place. There's nothing like a board. People just want you to perform miracle. Have anointing. They don't even care where the anointing is coming from. As I'm telling you, you made me what I am today. And I hate to see you suffer. People only care what you can do for them. They don't even care where their anointing is coming from. But wait, oh. see, this thing we are doing is wrong. Yeah? You're just trying to uh, 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 cause trouble between God and devil. Joe, you are tempting God. You are tempting God. John, did you, did you like what I did in the church? Yes. You liked what happened in the church, Abby? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did I make people happy? Yes. Exactly. That's all they need. Anointing, one day. He came on, so it doesn't matter where it comes from. Because at the end of the day, God takes all the glory. Eh? Yeah? You understand? Oh yeah now, let me tell you something. What about the people I gave job? The woman that couldn't conceive. The man that had bad business. I did all these things because of this place. Think about it. Let's go. Oh God. Okay. Oh, look at the great. Okay, money, Rebu. Okay, money, Agani. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to You will bring a sacrifice of blood, an innocent blood that has not known sin. That is not possible. I can't bring anybody. I have never killed before. Joe, this is not what we discussed. Calm down, who can win Toby? Perhaps you would love to listen to what I have to say. You will sleep with a pregnant woman and when you are done, wipe your manhood with a handkerchief. Return the handkerchief to me and your assignment is complete. Uh, but, um, but One more thing. To have the power that you seek, you have to do it in the daytime. You have 14 days to accomplish this ritual and return the object to me else. Else what? Else, on the call we take whatever he wants. So, I don't want to wake you up. 
It's okay. Uh, how did you go? Did you see him? Yes. I saw him. He was he was so friendly. And then um, he prayed for me. Oh, glory. <laughs> he said henceforth that I'm going to start performing miracles. In fact, that I'm going to do it beyond my expectations. Wow, thank God. Yes. I knew he would. I am so happy for you. I'm thank proud you. of you. Thank you. I love you. I love you, my baby. Love you. <laughs> Henceforth, you're going to be the man God has destined you to be. Amen. Men and women will run after you. Amen. And it will be exactly how we dreamt about it. Amen. And that's exactly the way he said it. Yes. Um, God will see us through, okay? I know Thank you're you. trying. You're really trying. Thank you so much, baby. <laughs> Thank you. May God see us through. Amen. Come, come eat, okay? And have your shower. It's alright. supposed to sleep with a pregnant woman? Where am I even supposed to find one? How can a pastor like me go about a thing like this? Huh? Oh my God. What do I do? And if I sit and back up now, they may kill my mother or kill my wife. Or even kill me. What do I do? Why do I have to do this? Just for power? Should I have just stayed and managed the way I am? Take a look at Joe. He is not even intelligent. He does not even know the Bible. But me? I am intelligent, I am dedicated, and I know the Bible front and back. Yet I can't feed my family. I can't even run my church. No, something has to be done. Besides, all glory belongs to God. And nobody knows, or will ever know where I got the anointing anyways. Why are you here? Um, I'm okay. It's just that um, I have sleepless nights. I just can't sleep. That's just it. You know, you're just saying that to me for me to feel better. Honey, tell me what is the problem? How can yeah. you be here? You're telling me you're okay. Baby, I am fine. Okay, I'm, 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 
Oh God. You are not okay. Stop. Listen. Just go to bed. I will join you. No. Oh God. Believe me, I'm good. I'll join you very soon. Are you sure? Yes. Oh God. Whatever it is, you know, being here is not the best. I said I will join you soon. It is okay. I said I should come and see you people with this little farm produce that. Uh, I got. I actually harvested some of my produce and I brought this palm oil. <sighs> ah, 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 ah. See what we have here. Oh God. Oh, good morning. Hey, sit down, sit down. Oh, thank you. Oh, sit, sit, sit. Thank thank you so much. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. This is why you are here so early. Hope no problem. Ah, ah. Was there be a problem before I come here? Eh? <laughs> actually, I had some palm produce yeah. and then I decided to bring you this palm. Hey, well, just in case you need it. I need it because I know how it is. It is very, very hard to get. Don't worry. This is nice, though. Mm, this is original. Exactly. Hey, thank you so much. <laughs> you are welcome. It's nice hey, now. You are a good person, though. <laughs> Um, uh, thank you very, very much. Yes. Eh? Thank you. But um, you shouldn't have uh, bothered yourself to, to start uh, bringing this ah, to us. Pastor, eh? it's just a little thing. Mm -hmm. Giving shouldn't be one sided. Eh? Oh. You're always giving to me, you and uh, uh, Madam. You're always giving to me. <laughs> yes. so mad. Eh? I know how hard it is to get original palm oil like this. Ah. Hi, I wasn't <laughs> expecting it. Oh God, thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, why don't you come inside and just have your breakfast? Yeah. Eh? Ah, no, no, no. I have actually taken something before coming here this eh, morning. Are you eh? sure? Yes. Okay, okay, let me just go and finish okay. up. Eh? You, Take man. your time, oh, thank eh? You so and thank you for this, eh? Ah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, All right, thank you. It's not enough. That's the uh, uh, Wait. Have you, uh, have you joined the uh, altar call? Uh, Women. Ah, yes, I joined about uh, three months ago. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to know, but um, I would like to see you in my office tomorrow. Ah, I hope there's no problem, Pastor. Ah, no, 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 no. There's no problem. It's just that um, there are some things I heard, so I want to ask you some questions so that uh, you put me through. Okay. In that case, there's no problem. I'll be there tomorrow. It's all right. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you very, very much. It's yeah? okay, Pastor. Sell well, well. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pastor, uh -huh. this one that I've come here yes. before going to this market, I will sell everything. Yes. Uh -huh. With this yes. anointing that uh -huh. I came here to collect. <laughs> I will sell it. Thank you so much. Pastor. It's okay. It's eh? okay. God it's bless okay. you. Right, and let me go care, so huh? that I can quickly sell those. You will. Goods, eh? You will. Thank you will, my dear. You will. Send me hello to Madam. It's okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let me go straight to the point. Um, I uh, I didn't actually call you here for anything. Um, we don't have any altar call. Pastor, have I done anything wrong? Hey, no, 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 no. To the contrary, I, I just wanted to know how you are, how you are faring. I actually want to know how, how you are doing. That's it. You know, I'm really scared. You're scaring me you know, because you, you hardly sound this way. You don't have to be scared, my dear. You don't have to be scared. You know, I care so much about you. You know that. Yes, Pastor, I know that. <laughs> to be fair, you have been very helpful to me With and God. my children. Since the death of my husband, I yes. don't know what I would have done without you. We thank God for that. Um, but um, Ogo, I'm sorry to to ask you this question. Um, since 
since the the death of your of your husband, have you ever? I mean, have, have you ever slept with any man? Pastor, how can you ask such a question? I mean, I'm a Christian. Yes, I know. I, I, even if my husband is dead, I, I can't just sleep with any man. I can't do that. Thank God. Uh, um, um, the thing there is, I, I just want to know, um, what if you... What if you have maybe somebody that um, feels something for you in that manner? Pastor, I don't know why you're asking all these questions, Zoe. Eh? You are really scaring me. Oh God, you are no more a baby. Huh? You are no more a baby. Lately, I, I, I've been thinking, I've been thinking about you. I, 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 actually, I actually feel something. Don't for you. even say that, Pastor. If anybody told me such a thing, I will invoke the Holy Spirit on the person. How can you say such a thing? Oh God, listen, listen. You are you are so much attracted to me. And I I, I, I know you feel so God forbid, Pastor. Huh? God forbid. How can you say such a thing? Huh? All of you are the same thing. Ah, uh, it is even my fault that I trusted you to this level. Huh? I thought you were different. Oh, no, please, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, please. If I, if I provoke you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry about what? Please. Please, I'm oh, wait. I'm wait. Wait. Ah, no, oh, sure. Every, every, all of you are the same thing. All the pastors are the same thing. Please, I, I thought you were different. Eh? Oh God, listen, I, I didn't mean to offend you. Uh, um, I don't know the way you are seeing this. All I'm asking for is just be my friend. That's all. What kind of friend? Are we not friends already? Eh? What kind of friendship are you asking for again? Listen, uh, oh God, I, I like you. I like you so much. Eh? I, I want something that is uh, a little bit deeper than just friends. I, I want someone that I can I can rely on. You understand? Someone that, that I can trust. Somebody that I, 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 if I have any problem, the person can advise me. And I've looked at you, you're that kind of person. Well, the thing there is that you people are seeing us pastors as uh, Mr. Know It All. We don't know it all. Eh? We don't know everything. Yes, God, God uses us, yes. So please, all I want is just be my friend. Oh God, oh God, I need you Hi. I would have just come down and asked what you really meant to, eh? But why would I? Why would I? Why would I do that kind of a thing? To, to, to just look, look, look at, look at your condition. I, I, I can't do such a thing. I like you. All I want is just that friendship. That's all. I am I'm very very sorry if uh, no, if, no, I, if Pastor, I, I should be the one saying sorry. Eh? I overreacted. I should have just calmed down and listened to what you have to explain to me. Eh? I, I, see, I'm sorry. It's okay. Please, Pastor. It's okay. It's okay. I'm really sorry. It's okay. See, I nearly fell into trouble with one of these women today. Joe, I think this is a very big mistake. No. What am I going to do? What do I do next? Wait, wait, wait. I should organize a prayer week for pregnant women. So this, this thing is going, it's, it's not going to work, it's not going to... Wait. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, okay see, see what will happen. Um, I'll do 
I, I, I will do just that. Uh, one week. No. Yo, listen. Let me do it. Three days revival for the pregnant women. Yes. Mm hmm. That that would be good. Ah. Yo, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, God. Definitely. No, once, once I'm through, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a call. Yes. Yes. Thank you. All right, All right. Bye. Hi. Thank you. Hi. It is a laudable program, honey. Everyone is talking about it. They said you have the interest of the pregnant women at heart. Really? Yes. <laughs> we talked about it at the women's meeting today. All the pregnant women are coming for the three-day prayer and revival. Wow. That would be a very huge one. It is. And you know, I can't wait to join them. <sighs> Baby, I know. Huh? Baby, don't worry. Huh? God will do it at the right time. Hmm? Don't worry. His time is the best. What would I do? Yes. We are here to talk to God. Hmm? But it's not something I will start uh, mentioning, start telling you we are doing this, we are doing that, we are doing that, when you are going to do that? No. As the time goes on, each part, you will know about it. Hmm? Definitely we will have prayers. Definitely. Then, counseling. One thing you should know is that this thing is going to lead us all through till midnight. Are you women ready for it? Yes, yes pastor. pastor. Are you sure you are ready for it? Yes, yes pastor. Good. Now, when you people, when you people were born, definitely you prayed that you will deliver peacefully just like the way you were born. It is your portion in Jesus. Name. Amen. As long as you are under this roof, we've heard so many times that um, once a woman gets pregnant, so many things, so many bad things comes to her. But as long as you're under this roof, you will deliver peacefully like the Hebrew women in Jesus' name. Amen. Can I hear a louder amen? amen? Good, good. So what I'm saying is, are you people ready to go through the marathon? Because it's going to be heavy today. Throughout the night. Are you ready for it? Yes, Pastor. Are you sure you are ready for it? Yes, Pastor. Good. As long as you're pregnant, Definitely, as I'm talking to you now, you are going to deliver peacefully in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can I hear another amen? amen? Good, good. How do you feel about the prayer? I hope you were really touched. Yes, Pastor. I felt my baby move for the first time in months. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's been a long time I have been praying for that, and it happened tonight. Thank That's you so much, Pastor. We thank God. We thank God. So, um, I am actually thinking, your, your husband is in town? No, he's not in town. He's a businessman. Oh. Okay. So, how do you cope? How do you cope without him being by your side? Yes, it is very hard. 
But there's nothing I can do. It has to work. So, um, how do you feel when someone, you know, feels something for you? Hmm? Pastor, I'm confused. What do you mean? Listen, I like you so much. And I would want to spend some quality time with you. God forbid! How dare you say such a thing to me? Don't tell me to calm down. Calm down. Is this why you called the prayer so that you can sleep with us? God will judge you, Pastor. Just calm down, please. God will judge you. Okay, um. I actually heard a rumor about you. Pastor, what do you mean? I heard you've been sleeping around town because your husband is not here. Pastor, it is a lie. It is a lie. Ever since I've married my husband, I've not slept with another man. Whosoever that is giving you that fake news must be a liar from the pit of hell. Um, actually, I... I wanted to try you. To know actually if what they said is true. But you've um, proven to me that they are wrong. So I want to encourage you to keep being faithful and loyal to your husband. So that you will deliver your child safely. Huh? Pastor. I am very, very sorry. I've said a lot of things to you out of anger. Please forgive me. You're such a good man. It's okay. We are all humans. You know, we are bound to make mistakes. Hmm? I am sorry, Pastor. It's okay. Thank you so much. It's all right. It's all right. Thank just you. don't worry. Um, when you leave, just uh, call the next person. And don't forget to do those prayers that I gave to you. Yes, Pastor. All right? Thank you so much. God Take bless care. you, Pastor. Bless you too, my dear. See, I think you're going about this the wrong way. Honestly. Joe, what do you want me to do? Eh? I've tried all the tactics that I know. Even the ones you've told me, I've tried all of them. None is working. Then get out of this community. Move out of this community. Must you do it here? Eh? Eh? What you need in this city is money. Iburu Hale Kebata. Pregnant, single, Nothing more than every, every woman will fall into your trap. Yo, listen, uh, are you sure that if I go to the city now, that, uh, you know, most of these girls are, are smart and educated. They might not want to do this. Who is talking about education or smartness here? Eh? What you need is money. And besides, it's remaining only four days. Eh? And you know, Luku does not hear stories, though. My brother, the earlier the better. Um, Joe, I, I, I think I, I, I'll go to the city first thing tomorrow morning. Wow. Yes. Now yes. you are talking. Yes. Come to the city first, eh? Uh -huh. And if it's now difficult for you to find one, tell me. I will make a call. I'll call one of my friends. She's into prostitution. You know all these rose girls. Uh -huh. She can arrange all sorts of women. Um. um so why don't you make the call now? Let's make the call now. See, if I go home now, I'll tell my wife that I'm going to the city. That I'm going there to see to see my doctor. Now then I'll use the opportunity and do it. Now you are talking. Eh? Because time I drop out. You're lying. Your life depends on this. <laughs> okay. 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 I thought we agreed on we going to the city together. Why are you going alone? Maybe I just want to see a doctor. Doctor? Why? Are you sick? When you talk to me, are you sick? No, I, I, I... You know, after this week of stress, <sighs> I just wanted to just see a doctor, all this headache, just to make sure that um, it's not something serious. It's fine. 
Well, why didn't you tell me you're not feeling well? Now you're making me feel like I am not caring. It's not fair. I, have you been hiding something from me, honey? Baby, no. How, how can you how can you ask me ask, ask me such such a question? Huh? How can you how can you ask such a question? Okay, listen. Hmm? I'll get that wrapper you've been meaning to buy. I'll get it for you. You know you're more important to me than this wrapper of a thing. Besides, I'm not an old woman. Get me a gown. Okay. I'm going to get you two beautiful gowns. Mm -mm. I don't want you to spend money. You know we're managing. Just get me one. <laughs> one is okay. Okay, I'll get you one beautiful gown. That's my love. <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you so much. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Yes, we start coming. The door is open. Good afternoon, Pastor. Good afternoon, Ogo. Ogo, you look beautiful. Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> Do you like the dress I'm wearing? Yes, it's it's. It's okay. You look beautiful in it. I'm glad you like it. I actually bought it with the money you gave to me the last time. It's okay. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> you see, Pastor, um, I've actually taken my time to consider what you said the other time. I actually want to be a friend. That's if you are still interested in me. If you need anything, just do not hesitate to tell me. Okay? okay? Pastor. Uh, just, just let go. Okay. You know, it's fine, Pastor. Mm -hmm. You will get to hear about this. Yes, you know, I'm not a kid. I know how these things are now. Eh? Yeah. You can't believe it. She walked up to me and said she has considered my offer. I'm telling you, I have it here with me. Yes. No, I'm going there tomorrow, first thing tomorrow morning. No, I don't need to waste any time, oh. There is no time. I have to move it. Ah. Okay. Okay, I, I, I'll meet you at, uh, at the junction tomorrow. It's all right. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, my brother. All right, bye. Welcome, my son. You have found yourself worthy in the sight of Oniko. Take this and drink it. Fill your body with power and anointing. Fill your body with fire. Fire your body with authority to command demons. To heal any diseases. You will lose the captives. You will release destinies. You will attract favors. You will give life and take life.
from today onwards anybody you touch with his hand anything you decree will happen to that person from today onwards anything you say will happen You will see visions. You will see the future. You will see destinies. Remember, your destiny is in your hands. You must do the right thing. You must eliminate the sacrificial object. That woman must not give birth to that child. If she does, your powers will leave you and you will die. Can have this. Ah, my God, Pastor, all this for me? Yes. Hey. Yes. <laughs> I told you, as my friend, you will never lack. Ha! Hey, this is much, but I really appreciate it. Eh? Thank you so much. <laughs> Just take it and keep being beautiful for me. Do I okay? have a choice? Eh? I will always look good for you. For you, for you alone. <laughs> Hi. Right. Hey, 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 hey. So, um, Mr. Okonko, what can I do for you? Um, Pastor, uh, honestly, I want to appreciate God. I have come to say thank you to Him. He has really been very wonderful, you know, towards me and my family, especially my business. Since the last time I visited you, when I complained about the, the drop in my business. After that prayer, honestly, I must tell you the truth. God really did something, you know, uh, miraculous. And I want to thank him. Let God be praised. Hallelujah. Good. Yeah, Pastor, I want to, like I promised the last time I, I came here, you complained about uh, the church not having a generator. Yes. Good. And I promised God that if things turn out to go well, I will really buy the generator. And I've come to fulfill my promise. Good. I want to give you this check. It is a check of 1.5 million covering the amount for the generator. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he has really been very wonderful to me. Wow. Let God be praised. Hallelujah. Can I hear a louder hallelujah? Hallelujah. That's good. Thank you very, very much for remembering God. Hmm? Coming to thank him from the proceeds that you got from your business. Hmm? Thank you very much. Thank you, Pastor. Hmm? I also want to appreciate you because uh, you've been very dedicated to my matter, honestly. <laughs> and um, I only um, ask God to uh, give you the grace, give you more blessing, give you more... Amen. Opening, Amen. You know, to be able to continue interceding for people like us. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor. Amen. We thank, thank God. Let us, uh, let us pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, my sister, as I was saying, that's it, girl. <laughs> well, my sister, don't you think it's high time you try seeking for spiritual help? Maybe seek for a face of God or something. You never can tell. <laughs> my dear, what do I even know? You really have to know. You really have to know. See, I see my enigma. Eh? I mean, you've been suffering with your husband since, trying to make things work naturally, and it's not working. So you have to try other means now. Okay. Let's even say I want to do that. Do you know anything I can do, or anywhere I can go? Cause me, I don't know. Uh huh. Since you're interested, uh -huh. I think you should come see my powerful man of God. 
a man of God. Who is he? He passed us where I worship. I can tell you, he's filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. God has been using him to do miracles and wonders. You should go see him with your husband. And I'm sure he won't hesitate to help. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's not bad. You say so. As long as going to see him, we bring solution to this problem. I don't mind what we bring. I don't mind. To bring solution. But first, you have to have faith in God. Huh? Faith, pa. <laughs> From this, my hair. To my feet. Faith is everywhere. I'm going. I will definitely go. <laughs> Thank you, dear. I will talk to you later. Well, take care. It's very, very good that you people are here this early. Because um, the devil wants to take anything that comes to his hands. But I'm telling you. Any problem or curse that has been placed on you will never go back with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Huh. Thank you, Jesus. While I was praying, I saw poverty surrounding you. Yes. But for the fact that you are here today, When you are done with the 21 day fast that I'm going to give you people. As you are doing this fast, make sure you do it with this, with this Bible verse. On completion of this, you will see what the Holy Spirit will do in your life. Just make sure you complete it. Alright, Pastor. Your life has changed. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pastor. You're welcome. Pastor. Yes. You know, you don't really have to stay for a long time. All we want is for you to come and pray for our daughter. It's her second birthday. So we just want you to come and pray for her for God to bless her, give her a bright future and more intelligence, that's all. Uh, it's okay, but um, I have to talk to my wife and know if um, that day is already booked. Yes. Okay, I understand. Actually, that is why my husband and I have arranged this little package for you wow. to ease up the stress. A check of one million naira. Yes, Pastor. Um, it's okay. Um, I will um, try to make our time to come and bless your child. Oh, thank you so much, Pastor. You don't know what this means to me. Thank you. It's all right. Oh, thank it's you okay. so much. It's okay. It's okay. All right, sir. Thank all you. Right. You're welcome. All right. Well done. Take care. Bye. Easy, please. Go swallow me. We have to keep up with this fast, you know. Besides, it can't be compared to what we've been through already. Please. Honey, I understand. But it's not going to be easy. That food be man. I know, sweetheart. But we need to do this. So at least we'll know where our lives are heading to. Please, I know it's not easy, but please, please. My dear, the prayer is for 21 days. We have not even started. And my husband is already complaining of hunger. What sort of hunger? You better don't allow him. My dear, will it be better for the hunger life to continue when the solution has come? Eh? I wonder. I have told him to fast. I begged him. Because it seems that's the only way we will know if there's a solution to this problem. See, that man of God is a very powerful man. 
and anything he asks you to do, you must do it accordingly. Hmm. For at the end, solution will come. Hmm. Hmm? I strongly believe that. Too. Yes. I strongly believe. Honestly. God will help me with this. Amen. Thank, Thank you very much. Well. Huh? Yeah, take care of yeah. yourself. Huh? Thank you. Huh? Our pastor, it's so good I got the contract. <laughs> this is just the beginning. You will I see believe more! Believe <laughs> pastor, I decided to give God a token, a small gift, to appreciate God for all the good things He has been doing in my life. Okay. Especially since I came to this church. Yes. Pastor, have this. This is for me. Wow. <laughs> This is awesome. You're giving God a car <laughs> out of 500, more than 500 million naira worth of contract. Yes, Pastor, that contract is a heavy one. Over wow. 500 million naira. That's good. Awesome. And all because of your prayers. Since I stepped into the church, <sighs> so many things have happened in my life. Let God be praised. Amen. Just let me pray for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. For you to have gotten a contract more than 500 million naira and you decided to give God a car, let that pocket where this money came from be replenished in Jesus' name. Amen. Anybody, any evil. I was praying, the Holy Spirit showed me this. The forces of darkness that was holding me down. In fact, as we speak, you are free. As you have completed the fast, you need to be expectant of what God will do in your lives. And to be expectant, you have to have faith. Yes. yes. You have, have faith. faith. In the next five days, you will see new things in your lives. Oh, thank God. Pastor, I can't wait though. I can't wait. The, the spirit, the spirit has shifted. In fact, new things are coming your way from now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We serve a living God. As long as you have faith in Him, your life will never be the same. Prayer is the key. Prayer is never too much. Once you keep praying, definitely God will answer you. In fact, you people are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Okay. I know how these things can be. But I strongly believe that God is in control. Okay? God is in control. Brother Kelechi. I am afraid though. I am seriously afraid. See, this is the twelfth month. And you are telling me God is in control. Eh? This is very serious. Hmm. But uh, uh, have you gone to maybe a hospital to see a doctor? <laughs> That's a quite doctor. Doctor? Or doctors? I've not only seen one doctor, I've seen doctors. I will go to this one, I'll go to that one. All of them will conduct tests. And do you know the funniest thing? They are all saying the same thing. That yeah. I am okay. I am normal. That nothing is wrong with me. So, uh, um, have you seen our pastor and Pastor John? That was uh, Pastor John. Is this the same thing you are saying that Pastor John told you? And he's always saying it, that God is in control. God is in control. God is in control. Hey. So much. I'm tired too. Mm. Swear. My brother, that reminds me. Your visa. When are you going to America? Oh, you care, bro. I'm tired. It's not working. I don't understand. My, my sister. The visa, the America. It's not, it's not working. The, the truth is, let me just tell you now. I want to see if I can go to other churches. All the prophecies. You mean that you have not gotten your visa? But I will leave you. I have not gotten anything. It's cause for a serious concern. Well, I've been worried about your condition. Why me? Just in case. Brother Kelechi, mm. you have a point to. It's, it's just a small piece of evidence. I think I will consider this thing you are saying. Because uh, it's becoming a very, very serious case. Yes, hello. Yes, my name is Kenneth. What? Are you serious? You mean I've been approved? Ah, no, no, no. What? What? They told me they've given the slot away. Ah, I should resume on Thursday. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. For real? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes! Yes! Ah! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Joe, I have the money. I have the fame. I, I, I have the love of, of, of my members. My, my, my house is almost completed. And the church is fast growing. Okay, what is the problem? This is what you've always wanted. Okay, relax. Joe, I am not happy. Yes, this is all I've ever wanted. But, I don't know. I, I, it's, it's as if I'm in a cage. As if, as if there's, there's, there's this disaster that, that is, that is about to happen. Don't worry, don't worry. You panic a lot. Who is talking about disaster here? See, let me tell you something. Your church is in your hands. It's either you save it or you destroy it. All you have to do is just the needful. A lot. Ah. I don't even understand what you are even saying. Joe, she is 12 months pregnant. And so? Listen. 12 months. What else do you want me to do? I should kill her. Joe, I have never killed anybody before. And I won't start now. Joe, please. Is there, is there no other way? 
You want me to start raising my voice? See, let me tell you something. In case you don't know the gravity of what you are doing. See, if you don't eliminate that woman, when I mean eliminate, immediately, see, you will lose everything. Your church, your so-called building, even your own life. Be okay. Don't allow that woman to ruin your life. You will die. Hey, Pastor Joe. Uh, <laughs> Pastor Joe, how are you? I'm good, madam. How are you doing? I'm fine. Darling. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Ah, I'm fine. You're not looking so bad. Oh, Why you. Why you. Why you. I heard you went for Pastor Joe. Yes, yes, I went for the meeting. You're not looking bad. Oh, thank you. You look good as well. Yeah, yeah, thank God. <laughs> so, darling, what did you do? Uh, uh, he just he just got here. Oh really? Madam, yes. thank you so much. I was about leaving. That's a bad idea. Come on. Let me make something for you. Go fin salad with my Okay. 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 <laughs> Alright, see, see you. Madam the madam. Thank you. See, let me tell you. See, let me tell you. I'm done. You have to give me. I won't come here again because of this issue. You see how serious I am? Your life is at stake. Look at me. You want to give me a fair salary? Pastor, for your support, for your care, for your encouragement, your advice, we say thank you. On behalf of my wife and I, we are grateful. Yes, we give all the glory to God, but God will not come from heaven to help. Exactly. So He sent His Son, which is you, to bless us. Our life changed from the moment we came in contact with you. So that's why we came and said, okay, let us appreciate you. Am I right, baby? Yes, man of God, my husband is right. <laughs> so please, accept this from us. Wow. And, and uh, also, we are ready to do more. So if there's anything you want us to do in this ministry, do not hesitate. Just let us know. We'll support. Wow. Thank you very, very much. Hmm? Whoever gives to the Lord should be ready to receive more. That's right. God will continue to bless you. Amen. Amen. Joy will never depart from your family. Amen. Amen. In fact, for this thing you've done, huh? <laughs> just get ready for more of God's blessings. More and more are coming. Thank you very, very much. Amen. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> My dear, this is how I've seen it too. There is this good hospital I hear of in Inugu. They say they are the best. Try and give them a try. Hospital? Which hospital? Ha! <laughs> My sister, this is not a medical issue. This is a spiritual issue. Do you know how many hospitals I've been to? I've been to this one, I've been to that one. They have done all sorts of tests. All of them are saying the same thing. That's the funny thing. And what do they say? Ah, you won't believe oh, that I'm normal. Huh. And nothing is wrong with me. Ha! Hey, this is a serious matter now. Hmm. What do they want you to do? Carry your belly like this for how long? This is the twelfth month now. My sister, see me. As I'm talking oh. to you right now, I cannot even walk from here, where we are now, to this market, as close as it is. Not anymore, not again. I'm just here, waiting for God. I feel for you. God will take peace. 
God will do something. I strongly believe that you'll come out of this situation shortly. Amen, no. Amen. Ah, God needs to do something quickly. Oh. Ah, the stress is much. Um, hmm. But to go, my friend. Hmm? Have you tried going for prayers? I mean, like, serious prayers. I beg you, prayer. Did I not tell you? My pastor, Pastor John, he has been praying for me. He prays for me every day. He will pray for me in the morning. He will pray for me in the afternoon. He will pray for me in the night. He prays for me every time. Eh? Are you sure that man of God is powerful? Okay. Eh? See, let me tell you. I have this man of God. He's very powerful. Strong. He's not popular, but he doesn't even charge. Mm -hmm. If this man enters your matter, trust me, this case will be beans. This one sounds like a... Uh... Is a real one. Huh. Hey, but my friend. Hey. As it is now, do I have a choice? Please. Don't. Know. Anywhere where the solution now. I will follow you. We'll go there. Now you're talking. Hey. All I want is solution. Nothing more. Huh? I'll be going to his church on Friday. I will talk to him about you. Really? Uh -huh. And he even he may even come to your place, considering your situation. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ah, this one sounds like a real man of God. Ah, I nice. don't see. He is very nice. Hey, my friend. You see, eh? if you do this one for me, if God does this one for me, I will be so grateful. So, so grateful. It's already done. As long as I'm taking it to my man of God. It's Thank done already. Thank you so much. God will bless you. Amen. This one will not be your portion. Please, if this thing wasn't impossible, I wouldn't have been here. Please help me. I've tried all I could, but it's not working. Listen, listen to me, young man. You must have had a lot of courage to return here without accomplishing your assignment. You chose that object for your sacrifice. I did not choose it for you. Therefore, it's up to you to remove the object for sacrifice from the earth. As long as she's living and walking among the living, she's a living corpse and a disaster. If she delivers that baby, your powers will leave you and you will die. Hey! Please, please help me, please. Leave my shrine. Please, please help me. I said leave. Please help me, please. Honey? Honey? Oh, what? Are you okay? Um, I... I'm I have, fine. I have been standing here for a while now and you didn't notice me. Sorry, I... I'm fine. It's just that, um... I was just thinking of something. Yes. Do you mind to share? No. Don't worry. I'm okay. Let's go in. Uh, our girl was here earlier. Ah. Yeah. I wonder what she might want. She said she wanted to discuss something very urgent with you. I I don't know, but from the look of things, she might go into labor anytime soon. Honey. Oh, really? Yes. I think that's great. Okay. That's great. You don't look fine to me. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. Maybe I'm good. I'm good. I'm, good. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Let's go.
Now we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, our Bible made us understand that the thought of God on our life is of good and not of evil. Therefore, every evil thought, every evil imagination, Fire. every evil gang God Fire. against your life, Fire. today it shall be broken. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. My Father, my Maker. Begin to pray, begin to because there is power in the name of Jesus and because there is deliverance in the name I pass a word a word of declaration Amen. a word of deliverance Amen. a word of deliverance Amen. a word of self-deliverance hear the word of the Lord Amen. I command any hand any power any altar from any covenant that is holding you captive hear the word of deliverance I say to you Amen. Amen. Come out! 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 Amen. In the name of Jesus! Amen. The whom the Lord has set free is free indeed. You are free. You are free. Come on, my boy. You are free. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lisa. But I'm happy. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Holy Spirit. I give you all the praise. Thank you, my Father. Because the other way, man. Thank you, God. Oh, I shall you, God. I give you all the praise. I give you all the praise. I give you all the praise. I give you all the I give you all the the praise. I I I was supposed to. I, 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 I was supposed to. I, 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 I. How could you? Ah, because of money and power. Uh, hey, you joker. You are evil. Don't say any more. Please, oh. Tell us, please. Tell us, please, forgive me. Oh, it's heavy. Tell us, please, forgive me. Oh, it was, it was my friend that cajoled me into this. I am not like this, oh. Oh! <laughs> hey! 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 <laughs> hey! Help me, 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 help me,
<laughs> help me! Help me! <laughs> oh my god. I'll take you to church. I'll take you. Church, I beg church, you, stop. Church. Just stop me. Don't do this to me. Only tell church. me I want I'm to go to church. Church! <laughs> okay. Okay, just relax. Calm down. Calm down. I'll take you to church. Just calm down. Tell I'm me. down. Tell me I'm dreaming. Tell me I'm dreaming. I want to go to church. Church! <laughs>